Hello and welcome to this very special edition of Cool Your Zip. I'm Debra. And I'm Zebranya. In this edition, we thought it would be a great time to take a look at some family fun places to visit right here in Phoenix. I know, I'm so excited, but let's get some business out of the way. If you're traveling downtown or anywhere around Phoenix, make sure that you know what the rules are for masking up. Uh, you might want to call that place of business, look online, and if you haven't been vaccinated yet, check out this website and get to the closest vaccination um, near you. Bottom line, be considerate of others, be respectful. If you're not feeling well, please stay inside and just practice good safety measures. Now that we've covered that, this is the time to check out some of our favorite cool places for family fun. And I want to point out, we are in one of my favorite places uh, in the downtown area, the Arizona Science Center. We are in the 004, and this place is so cool. I've been here for the Titanic exhibits for James Bond um, and the Pirates. Lots love cool the stuff. treasures, love the treasures. So you got to come check it out. It's all about discovery, imagination, all that good stuff. Check it out. Discover the world of science and imagination at the Arizona Science Center. Attractions include one of the largest planetariums in the country, live demonstrations, hands-on learning, and exciting science programs for all ages. Here, curiosity goes to work and play. With both permanent and traveling exhibits, there is so much to do and see. The Arizona Science Center. It's an experience bursting with family fun. And if you've been here before, you already know the exhibits constantly change. And now we're in the art and science of the? Arachnids. I know, how cool is that? And what's really cool is that you can learn to create your own web. With this guy right here with behind, this guy us. behind us. It yeah. looks a little scary, but I'm sure she's very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> because this exhibit is so cool, we'll give you a sneak peek, but you have to come here and check it out for yourself. Now we're gonna head up to Northwest Phoenix in the 310 for some family fun in the sun. Hello, I'm Deborah. This is Cool Your Zip, the show where we take you to pretty cool places right here in Phoenix. We're in the 310 at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor, Phoenix, and this place is so cool. I am here with Heather. Tell me what this place is all about. You know, this place is so great because there's something for everyone. No matter your age, you're gonna have a great time at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor, Phoenix, Debra. I am so excited. This is formerly wet and wild. What's different about the park? You know, the park is great. We have a lot of your favorite rides are still here, but with the Six Flags coming in, it means your membership here gets you into all the other Six Flags in the nation, including Magic Mountain in LA, the thrill capital of the world. I am so excited to check out some of these rides because there's a little something for everybody here, right? There is. Whether you're a thrill seeker and you want to go on some really exciting rides, we've got Mammoth Falls, we've got Bahama Blaster, we've got Tornado, we've got Anaconda with more twists and turns than any other slide in Arizona. And then we've got some great things for family like the Wave Pool and Adventure River and some things for the little kids. So the, from the tops to people my age, there's a little something for everybody. I love it. I can't wait to splash around and get wet. <laughs> so tell us, talk us about some of the deals and the packages you have and great ways to stay cool right here in Phoenix during the hot days of summer. <laughs> you know, if you go to our website, we have a lot of different opportunities for people to stay cool. You can buy a membership, you can buy a season pass. It pays for itself in less than two visits. And like I said, you can come here from March through October. And then in the off season, go visit some of our other Six Flags parks. Because that membership, if you buy that pass, it's good for all parks. It is, it's good for all the parks throughout the year. That is amazing. Now let's talk about what you can bring in and what you can't bring into the park. You know, we wanna make sure that people are prepared. So before you come to the park, hydrate, put on your sunscreen, wear your sunglasses, hats, sunglasses and your hats, yes. be ready to go. You can bring in sealed water and then we have a variety of food options and beverage options. Everything from pizza and salads um, to things for adults, adult beverages and treats and fun things for the kids. 
you can also leave the park and come back with your admission that day if that's what you want to do for your family. What a great deal. Don't forget, as, as Heather said, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate during the summer. Wear a hat, sunglasses, sunscreen. And the great news is you can bring water into the park yes. as long as it's sealed. That's right. I love it. That is that is very, very, very cool. <laughs> and you said March until October, which is pretty much almost the whole year. It is, and we're open seven days a week throughout the summer. And then coming up in July, we have dive-in movies every Friday. We have fireworks, 4th of July. So it's a great place to come. Bring grandma, grandpa, the whole family, cousins, anyone who's in town, cool off with us here at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor it. Phoenix. Yes, yes, yes. And I want to talk a little bit real quickly about your community involvement and what you do here in Phoenix. You know, uh, we all live here and we work here. Our families are here. We're raising our families. So we do always look for opportunities that we can reach out. We recently completed a great water drive with the Salvation Army. And we look for continual opportunities that we can give back, whether it's donating to school fundraisers or whatever it is to make sure that people know we're here to stay. Six Flags has a commitment to Phoenix and uh, more things are coming, Deborah. I'm so excited and the important a lot of people right here in Phoenix, which is great for economic development all around. I'm going to go have some fun. Again, <laughs> Hurricane Harbor right here in Northwest Phoenix. Now that is cool. Here's it. <laughs>
course, um, you can golf there year round. Anything else that we're missing? We've touched on a lot of cool amenities and it's great for the community. The central location is easily accessible. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else you'd like to tell us about? Well, this you know, the, the, the great thing about our parks is uh, they're, all, they're all free. And you can come to a park at any time and uh, enjoy a playground or enjoy a basketball court or a tennis court. Uh, play volleyball, all kinds of different things, and, and a lot of those activities and amenities are all, are all free and, and, and part of your tax dollars. Love it. This place is definitely happening. It's in the 007. It's in Canto Park, and that's cool when you're zip. You know what, Dee, the first two places, we pretty much concentrated family fun in the sun. Now we're going to switch it up and go indoors. We're still going to do some family fun, but check this out. I highly recommend Martin Auto Museum. It's a really cool place. I was actually there a few months ago with my family and we all had a great time. With cool cars, free video games and carousel rides, you can't go wrong. You totally can't go wrong. And you know what, I have never been there. I'm gonna have I to check, check that out. out. I sure. do, I have a special friend that is very much into cars. So we will check that out. And I also wanna point out too, they are moving to a bigger location people bigger which means a more lot cars. more cars <laughs> how exciting is that yes very exciting so if you like martin auto museum you'll probably love the hall of flame museum it has uh, trucks from all over the world it's in the 008 in central phoenix We're in 008 Hall of Flame Museum, not fame. Now Mark, tell us, why is this place so cool? Well, Z, we're glad to have you here today, and it's cool because we're the largest historical firefighting museum in the world, right here in Phoenix. Not everybody knows that it's here in, in the Valley, and we have more than 90 fully restored fire trucks, hand pumpers, all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. going all the way back from a truck in 1977, all the way wow. back to a hand pumper from 1725. Wow. And uh, I'm just wondering, what is your favorite part of the museum? Well, I think my favorite part of the museum, I have a lot of favorites, but I think my favorite is our collection of fire helmets from all over the world. Uh, it's just, it just you kind of look at it and you can almost see the firefighters' faces appear if you have a good imagination like mine. What, uh, I'm constantly hearing like there's some like, scanner sounds in the background. Just, can you tell us what it is? That's right, we have a live Phoenix scanner. So any call you hear when you're here in the museum, uh, any of that radio chatter that you hear, that's live. Uh, talk of here in the valley from you know, actual calls happening now. And um, I know there are some, uh, I heard there are like some foreign equipments here that you we guys do have a, Most of the stuff we have is from the United States, but we do have a few pieces. One of these trucks behind me is uh, from Lima, Peru. It's a British truck that uh, spent its career in Lima, Peru. We have a truck from Britain. We have some hand pumpers from Japan, from Germany, from England. Uh, so we do try to represent. I mean, if you count our patch collection, we have stuff from every continent, even Antarctica. Wow. And there's so many uh, old and new trucks, and there's, there's so many trucks in general. Which one is your favorite? Well, I have a, I have a couple favorites. The, the Peru truck is a favorite of mine, but I also, there's also a brush truck uh, that was served Los Angeles County, the Topanga Canyon area, and it's green, and I like green. So it's a beautiful truck from 1930 made by a company called Moreland, and Gene Autry, the cowboy star, donated it to the museum. Among all of these red trucks, there's like, I noticed there's one that's in... Uh, White, and uh, can you tell us why is that? Sure, well the truth is that there's no rule that says fire trucks 
have to be any have to be read. You know, that's that's just a, a tradition. But lots of places, you know, that one from Norfolk, Nebraska, one of our prettiest trucks is white. Uh, in my hometown in Pennsylvania, the fire trucks are gray. We have trucks here in the valley in Glendale, they're yellow, in Scottsdale, they're green. So there's a few pink fire trucks knocking around. I've seen them. So fire trucks can be whatever color the firefighters and the people in the town want them to be. Lots of cool trucks, tons of history. Mark Hall of Flame Museum, now that's cool in your zip. Now what makes the Hall of Flame so important too, it's a great place for families and especially children to learn about fire prevention. They also can check out the newly remodeled Milo and Moxie Playhouse. And this is a partnership actually between the Hall of Flame Museum and the Arizona Burn Foundation. And it's really cool when kids can learn valuable information and have fun at the same time. Can't beat that. I know, I love it. And now we are going to go to my neck of the woods in the 050. Uh, we're going to kind of play it by ear and what we're going to uh, check out in that area, or we're going to maybe toot our own horn. Um, it is actually the Music Instrument Museum. I'm Deborah, and this is Cool In Your Zip, the show that we feature pretty cool places right here in Phoenix. We're at the Music Instrument Museum right here in the 050. I'm with Heidi. Tell me why this place is so cool. Well, first, thanks so much for coming. We're actually in the world's only global musical instrument museum, which is pretty cool. We have over 6,500 instruments on display, cutting edge technology where you can see everything. And it's also literally cool because we have to protect our instruments from the desert heat. So make sure you bring a light jacket next time. Oh, absolutely. And I want to tell you, this is nestled in the northeast, kind of in my neck of the woods, right off the 101, the 51. And it's a national museum. Yeah, it absolutely is. We're nationally ranked. Uh, TripAdvisor has us as the top 20 museums in the country. And of course, we're the number one attraction uh, uh, for Phoenix as well. Oh, this, that is so cool. Now, with this, we're in a very special exhibit. Tell me what we're at right now. So we're in Dragons and Vines. And, and what's so special about this, first of all, it's the only time these instruments have been displayed to the public. And after this, they go back in the vault. So it's really important to, to get here before September uh, for those that haven't seen it. But these instruments are actually inlaid. So, so if you look at the design, and by the way, you get a flashlight when you come in. You have a flashlight, OK. And the reason is because of the chatoyance. And that is basically that cat eye effect that this mother of pearl and a lot of the Beautiful. other precious materials have yeah so you can actually look at all of that detail and it's it's inlaid by hand by these artisans uh, and they're really it's the incredible. greatest in, in the country uh, in the world it's incredible now we've talked about these instruments you have so many interests you're representing like 200 countries plus a yep. uh, great place for a field trip for kids to come uh, who comes here on a daily basis yeah so the best part about MIM is that there really is something for everybody but you did mention school kids and, and we welcomed about uh, 65,000 school tour participants just last year and we're hoping to get even more this year and the reason why it's so special is because they learn about music geography culture culture, everything. And then of course we get families and other people in as well. Traditions and like I've been here a few times and I absolutely love it. I love all the different countries it represents. Some of the countries I've never even heard of. Over 200. And, and they, how they evolve the instrument from where it first started and where it is. And then you can kind of see a lot of it, how they kind of tie in together. The world ties in together through That's music. That's right. That's right. You get to celebrate differences, but you also get to see how really, really unique and different cultures are actually really similar in a lot of ways. Okay, you have concerts. Talk a little bit about that. So we have over 200 250 concerts a year and our theater is so intimate and perfect there's not a bad seat in the house there's about 300 seats but I'll tell you it's actually 299 because uh, at 300 we would have had to put a center aisle in well, we didn't want that we wanted perfect seating so 299 seats in our perfect theater with with really great uh, acoustic settings and and really great shows well I gotta tell you I've been here a couple times for some of those concerts and there is not a bad seat in the house but you do have to book early you do have to book early. They sell out. Okay. Uh, big, big shows. You could also be a member? 
you can tell me about absolutely the membership. be a member. Okay. And so what's really special about that is you get all kinds of uh, benefits throughout the museum. We also just started um, our very own magazine called Quarter Notes. And uh, you guessed it, it comes out quarterly. Oh my uh, gosh. And it's full of stories and then all kinds of things that are happening around the museum. I love, um, love, love. So we are gonna, we want people to come check it out. Yeah. There's an interactive place for kids and families and all that good stuff. Thanks again, Heidi, for having us here. This place is so cool. It's the MIM, the Music Instrument Museum, and the 050. Now that's cool in your zip. Hopefully you're finding our family fun places to be music to your ears, especially that last one, right? I love that place. I'm not kidding you, and it is in my neck of the woods. So now we're gonna change gears a little bit because there's a little gem in Phoenix that if you're cleaning out your house or your shed, your garage, they may just take it. And it's all about trading what you have for some cool goods and maybe you do a purchase or two. It's, it's like a little consignment um, and it's a really cool place. It's and actually, place. they take some albums there, too. Right. You can hang out there. Shop. You can read. You can do a lot there. Right. Check it out. Hey there, this is Deborah, and this is Cool In Your Zip, the show where we feature pretty cool places right here in Phoenix. We're in the 021 at Bookman's. I'm here with Katie. Why is this place so cool? Well, we are the largest local used bookstore in the state. So we have everything from books, movies, music, musical instruments, vinyl, you name it. We have all different types of things. And not only do we sell them, you can bring them in and trade in your old stuff for trade credit or for cash. This place is huge and you have a little bit of everything because I've seen the mm -hmm. DVDs, the CDs, the musical instruments. You also have some jewelry. That's right. We have jewelry right up front. We have vintage jewelry. We have new jewelry that's designed by people in the community. Um, we, just, we also have interesting new things that could make great gifts right up by the cashier in front. Um, so that always changes and we have new things every time you come in. So how do you collect all of these new things? A lot of it's local, but what's the process? So you can bring in your stuff. We're open all day, um, every day, and just bring it to the trade counter. You don't have to make an appointment. Um, trade it in, we'll give you a deal, and you can accept it if you'd like to. If you, you don't have to, if you don't want to, but you can get trade credit or cash and um, then you can buy more stuff. And it's all about recycling right back in. That's right. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about some of the classes and workshops you offer too. Yes, so we have free events every weekend. We do free events and classes during the weeknights also. Everything is all on our website. Um, everything is always free, but we do great stuff for kids and families. We have a really nice kids section as well. So we have movies and books and video games for kids. Um, and again, you know, it's great when kids want to trade in their old books. It goes, you go through them so fast. Um, so that would, you know, is always an option to get more stuff for your kids. Well, you have a little bit of everything here and it sounds like this is kind of a cool place to hang out for the community. That's right. So not only is it a store, but it's a great place to come, hang out, bring your laptop, read a book, um, see the people in your community. Um, we like to call it a third space where it's a nice place that you can just spend some time and have a great time here. Oh, uh, well, you heard it here. This is a pretty cool place at and the 021 Bookman's. Oh, that's cool. There are a lot of fun things to do here in Phoenix. That's why I love this show. We feature what's cool, and it's a win-win for the business and our Phoenix community. That's right. Now, let's recap, because we went over a lot of cool places in Phoenix. Yes. So take a look at this list. All of them are kid-friendly, family-friendly. So if you want to do it on your own, that's great. But if you want to tow the fam um, or some friends, um, check it out. If you have a cool place in Phoenix for family fun that you'd like to recommend, tag us on social media or send us an email. Let's keep this list going. Right? Absolutely, we wanna keep the momentum going of all these very, very cool places here in Phoenix. And you know what? We all know you have a phone. Everybody has a phone, so please take some pictures, tag us. Um, that'd be kinda cool to see where you guys are uh, checking out. Yes, and we just might give you a shout out on our next show. Thanks again to the Arizona Science Center for hosting us here today. If you haven't checked this place out, I encourage you to do so. The kids aren't the only ones that'll love it. Trust me. That's right. Everybody has a good time when they come to the Arizona Science Center. We really hope you enjoyed this very special edition of Cool in Your Zip. I'm Deborah, And I'm Debranya. See you around town and stay cool out there.